Hello everyone, it's Dog here, and today I'm super excited because I've been waiting for this blind box um, ever since I saw the teaser photos. So excited. This is another Mermaid BJD. I have two other videos on two different types of mermaid blind boxes like so. Uh, one is Mermaid Choo Choo blind box and the other one is the Ant 2 Tidal Secrets mermaid blind box. So please check those out. I'll put the links to those in the description. And we're also going to compare as well today with this one with all three. This might be a little bit of a longer video because I think this one is a little more customizable. So we're gonna check out some stuff um, and just show you her. So without further ado, box is so cool. I love the art here. So it says Mermaid Island. This is by I Toys. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correct, but they also made the, um, they're the same creators of um, this little one right here. I'll put the name of that blind box up on the screen because I totally forgot it. Uh, look, it's a little beach setting, so cute. So it says something on the side here. Unfortunately, I can't read this. Okay, so I think I saw the little blurb that was probably on the side of that box. This is the preface. It's colorful brocade sweeties embarked on a fantasy ocean adventure in order to find clues to the panda sanctuary. They came to the southernmost tip of the continent the water was crystal clear and sparkling under the sunlight. They excitedly walked through the waves and explored to the mysterious world under the sea. After passing through a large coral reef, they came to an island. Suddenly, a sea monster appeared. When they were scared, suddenly, a golden light flashed. It turned out to be a mermaid wearing a hat. <laughs> The mermaid used the scepter in her hand to emit golden light and fight off the sea monster. Colorful brocade sweeties were saved and they started talking to the mermaid. The mermaid said that her name was you er I can't I, I'm I'm terrible at pronunciations. Uh, and she lived on the mermaid island with her sisters. Soon the other mermaids swarm over and they were introduced to each other and became good friends. They played and sang together, sharing each other's adventures, stories, and dreams. Baizis said that they were finding the Panda Holy Land. yu -er said that their father, the Dragon King, had made a scepter for them. Among them, the Lux Scepter, Luli's hand, could bring good luck. At the same time, she said she also liked to collect various mysterious ancient legends, but Luli likes to be alone. So colorful brocade sweeties and the mermaids went off to the depths of the ocean to find where that name is. <laughs> okay, so this is you, Er, and this is Mello. Oh, she's cute. This is the one I really wanted. Tian Tian, C U A U C U, I think. I'm not sure. Oh, it even has their birthdays and ages. So they're 16. Interesting. Ron Ron. Zhao Zhaowen. And Lui Li. Okay, she is the, um, uh, what do you call that? The, she is the uh, secret. <laughs> the secret. Okay. Background story. They find her after hearing their stories. She provided them with clues. So they set out together. They met huge whales, flexible dolphins, and became friends with friendly sea turtles and cute starfish. They came to a mysterious underwater cave. At the end of the cave, they found an ancient stone tablet. There is a puzzle engraved on the stone tablet. They gathered together and carefully studied the words and the patterns on the stone tablet. After some thinking and working together to solve the puzzle, they finally revealed the answer to the puzzle. A golden light flashed behind the stone tablet, opening a secret passage. There is a huge crystal palace inside, which exudes dazzling golden light. In the crystal palace, they found a book. The book contains clues to amazing stories and treasures from around the world. The girls took this book, bid farewell to the mermaids, and embarked on a journey again. Where will they go next? So let's see who we get. No spoilers. Oh no, a spoiler fell out. Okay, I'm not looking at it. This is a purple bag. Oh, and it comes with a chair, guys. Comes with a chair. Oh, we got the blue one. Oh, we got the blue one. She's cute. It's got a little face protector on her. That's good. So the thing with these dolls are the hair can come off like so. So you can put wigs on them. That's one of the things I was excited the most about. And 
I don't find their heads too heavy. Uh, it's a little heavy, but I've seen some molded on hair that was heavier. Oh, their arms are so tiny. Uh, they have a little molded on bra. I don't know if you'd be able to take this off though. I think this is, I think you'd have to take her apart to put something else on, but you can easily put over outfits or like little shirts on over this. So I don't think that's that bad at all, personally. Let's take a look at her chair so we can sit her down. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. I'm the most curious, ooh, little bow on the back. It's like a seashell chair. It's got a little starfish at the bottom and it's kind of like pearlescent here. And you got little stars on the side, that's very cute. Now I'm the most concerned of whether or not she'll actually stay on it. So we're going to find that out now. Now, oh, she can sit like this. So it's this part that bends, very interesting. Oh, she has little wings on her back. Oh, that's so cute. She has like little horns. She's like a little dragon almost. Oh, she's so cute. Okay, so um, she was actually as cheap as the Mermaid Choo Choo blind box, I believe. Oh, she sits well. Oh, I like her little, okay. I'm excited. Let's, let's get the other stuff. Oh, okay, so she, their cards are like little cutouts of them. That's so interesting. Xiao Yu, Xiao Yu, Xiao Yu. Um, I'm not too sure. If if you know Mandarin, can you let me know if I'm correct, if I'm pronouncing that correctly? Oh, you could hang this up as well. Look, there's a little hole you could. Do. That's cute. That's a nice touch. That really is. So it shows that um, they come with themselves and the chair. This is actually the one I have. I don't know if they. Oh, it probably isn't. Oh, it might be different for each of them. In the back, it shows each part. So they come with a magic wand, a chair, an extra set of hands. So these are like the grabbing hands, and these are like normal hands. And they come with their wand. Hers is really cool. It's like a moon. I actually really like this. It reminds me of Sailor Moon. And then this, I've actually seen a video of um, this company like changing the eyes, and this is actually for the eyes. So it'll show you here. It's for their eyes, um, how you move them, you like turn the knob to how you want it. She's strong, so I don't have a, um, to be able to change out the hands, you basically have, need like some kind of needle or something to hold the thread so it doesn't, and this one's really threaded tight, so you'd like put it through right here and then you'd change out the hands that way. So that way the rod would be sticking out and wouldn't go back in. So that's how you do that. Um, I actually haven't done that yet. I've just seen others do it. Now, what we're going to try is we're going to try to change out her eyes. Okay, you really gotta not have long nails to do this. <laughs> but uh, to take off the head, there's basically like the tiniest seam down here and you would take your thumb and just try your best to get at it. But if you have long nails, I don't think you're gonna be able to do that, unfortunately. But yeah, so you can change the eyes doing this. You get this little wind and then you can move the eyes like so, which is really cool because that way it's it's not as, you don't need as much ad adjusting as you normally would with the eyes, like taking the putty on and off or stuff like that. Now we take the card out. Okay, so here are the eyes. Really interesting. It's kind of similar to a pair of eyes I have, so I'm going to see if it will, um, I'll be able to swap them. So this is the eye card. I just wedge this under it a little bit. You'll, you're not going to be able to get it with your fingers. I, I don't think so. So I bought these eyes a while back and I didn't have any kind of doll that would work with them, but I'm wondering if this doll would, because as you can see, they're pretty similar. It's just this one's a little thicker, as you can see. Now these particular ones I used um, aren't as big, I believe, so it's a little loose. <laughs> so she's got, <laughs> she's got a little bit of the wonky eye. You know, we could put a little wig on her. This one is way too big. <laughs> oh my goodness! Let me try to find a smaller wig. If uh, if this wig fits, then this will be the video of stuff I bought that didn't fit and 
now fits. Yeah, <laughs> that's great. <laughs> so if you had a wig cap, it, it should fit a lot better. So here we have um, a wig swap. Now this wig, oh, I can't tell you what it is, the measurements, but I believe it's one of the smallest ones that you could get on the listing. Like I actually don't have any other wigs as small. This was an accidental purchase. Now it'd be cooler if I had the pink one because this would go a lot better, I think, with the pink one, especially with the eyes as well. I just wanted to show that she can have her eyes swapped out and her hair swapped out. Now I realize I didn't show you with the wand on. Okay, so I just wanna say these should be the grabbing hands because that's what it looks like and these aren't these are kind of splayed out i don't know if the one i got the hands are just molded a little weird but i'm having a lot of difficulty trying to get her to hold it and it's bending i just watched kika goods unbox a whole case on their youtube channel and they actually use the splayed out hands not the grab hands and they put putty on it to stick to the wand so that's how they did it yeah we're just going to put it over here for now sit on her chair and we're going to show the other doll. So here we have these three. Now I all have them on like just cheap Amazon stands. The Antu Tidal Secret is definitely bigger than the others. I think Mermaid Choo Choo and Mermaid Island are the same size. Um, these both have inset eyes. Antu does not. Antu has painted on details. She also, you can't really swap out her hair because it, with a wig at least, because it's molded on. Just to show you, for example, there's not really room to put on a wig here because you don't have a back plate um, just for the head like this. It's the same with the mermaid choo choo as well with the molded on hair. So the only one that can actually wear wigs like I showed you is um, this one right here, the Mermaid Island, although you need a really small wig. Real quick, actually, I'm gonna show one more wig. Uh, it's a little, a little too big, kind of works, but it's, it's just slightly too big, and you can see the lace here. Honestly, it's a little more similar, the Mermaid Choo Choo and Princess Island, and two is pretty unique in the fact that I believe there's one, two, three, four pieces of the tail plus the tail length, and it, it's pretty long, the tail. She can sit down on the chair, kind of. <laughs> Mermaid Choo Choo can also sit down. She's pretty unique in the sense that her like upper body is really movable. She only has like two parts to her tail aside from the actual like bottom right here can sit down this chair is really nice i really like the mermaid islands comes with chairs and then she has three parts to her tail because i count this as a part right here this is what allows her to sit her upper body can't like move really so they're all very different in the tail aspect and her her top i don't think it can be removed unless you like take all the parts apart i mean but it's nice because you could still put an outfit over. Um, the rest, these other outfits are removable. So I just wanted to compare real quick the differences if anybody was wondering. So overall, I'd say she's a pretty cute doll. Uh, the blue one, it wasn't my favorite, but she's still very cute, her design. Uh, I would have liked the purple one a lot and um, the yellow or the pink. Of course, the secret was cool as well. I love that they have aspects where you can customize them easily if you wanted to like with the wig if you had a different wig um so she could have like real hair instead of molded on um, if you have your own eyes like i showed you before it's still plausible but you need putty to keep it in place and you need that specific type of eye as well a little unfortunate that i couldn't get i couldn't at least um it's probably still possible because they show them in the pictures holding their wand but the one i have i couldn't get her to hold her wand so i'm not sure if it's user error or um what's going on so that's it for this video thank you so much for watching if you enjoy my content please consider leaving a like a comment and subscribing if you aren't already thank you again so much for watching and i'll catch you again next time bye